Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So welcome to the first tutorial on how to set up Bing shopping campaigns for your Shopify store. Now there's a lot of interest regarding Bing because it is sort of a platform which not a lot of people even know how to use or a lot of people just basically disregard it as a backup version of Google. And this is a huge mistake because I personally believe Bing has very big potential simply because of this mentality a lot of people share. This is the reason why so many people don't even bother using Bing Ads and also one reason why Bing Ads is basically an open platform for you to come in and get those extra sales which you might not be getting with Google Ads, Facebook Ads or any other advertising platform. And one benefit if you do happen to use Google Ads already is Bing Ads and Google Ads are basically the same thing. So it's going to be a very seamless process for you to get started with Bing Ads, especially if you use Google. But this video is gonna show you how to create a brand new shopping campaign with Bing and start getting results with it via the right settings. So let's just get right into it. The first thing you'll have to do in order to find any type of success with this video, however, is to destroy that like button until it turns blue. It's really not gonna take you more than two seconds and it'll definitely help me out. Okay, hopefully you have pressed that like button down below. But in addition, before starting the video, I would like to say that I do currently offer one-on-one -on -one Google Ads mentoring. So if you're looking to get mentored directly with me, send me a message on Instagram at Dedicated Young to find out more about my one-on-one -on -one Google Ads mentoring. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or even an expert looking to scale further, this mentoring is perfect for you. So again, send me a DM on Instagram or comment down below. But let's get started with Bing Ads. Before talking about how to set up the campaign, let's go ahead and look at some of the results I've gotten with a Bing shopping campaign so far. And with Bing, I've been running this for about the past six to eight months, but we're going to take a look at this month's data to see exactly how Bing ads has performed for me. So, so there's a few things I would like to discuss about how Bing works and what you should be expecting with Bing. Number one thing is you should not be expecting the same kind of results you're getting with Google Ads from Bing. It's just not really realistic to be expecting that or even expecting to get those high quality results as you would with Google because after all, Bing is a secondary platform. Not as many people use Bing as they do with Google. In fact, about only one fourth of the overall population that uses Google even ends up using Bing. So just don't expect to be scaling to thousands and thousands of dollars a day with the Bing ads again, unless of course you have some major winning products or you just found products which are just perfect for Bing ads. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at some of the results with the campaigns. Now I have few different campaigns running right here. The first one is a standard shopping campaign with a big bid. The second one is a small shopping campaign and we'll be covering what syndicated means right here. But this is another standard shopping campaign with a smaller bid. I just recently two or three days ago started this campaign right here. This is a big bid shopping campaign with an, again syndicated which we'll cover very shortly. And the fourth one is branded search which is basically a branded search campaign. If you're not sure what this is or if you're wanting to create one for your Shopify store go ahead and check out one of the video which I made on this. I'll leave the link in the description below for that. But the final one is a standard shopping campaign with a small bit. And I want to show you guys the results of what I've been getting with my shopping campaign just for this month. So this big campaign right here, which is only run to the Bing owned and operated platforms currently has spent only $247 within 27 days, despite having a budget of $25 a day. So that means it's barely spending $7 to $9 a day just for this campaign. But if we look at the results for this campaign, we can see that I've gotten the best results with this campaign. So after spending $247 and 50 cents, I've gotten 15 conversions for a total ROAS of 1,096%. So the total revenue I got is $2,714 and 47 so despite not really spending as much money this campaign was outperforming every single campaign out there and I'm totally fine with this simply because of the amazing ROAS that I've gotten this is over a 10.0 return on ad spend which is absolutely again amazing but the moment that you change the networks that you target with your shopping campaign and we'll be going over which kind of networks to target you can see the big difference so right here we can see that this campaign which is the syndicated campaign started three days ago is spending the most money and it has the most viewers because this campaign is also running on a $25 a day budget, but within three days, it has spent the full budget every single day for just zero sales. So this lets you know that this network might not be ideal to be targeting. But the next campaign, which actually ended up getting me some results is this one right here, five sales for a total ROAS of 3,010% because I got a total of revenue of 1,116. So absolutely amazing, crushing branded search campaigns via Bing ads. And if we go ahead and change this to the entire time to look at all of the data that I've gotten, 
we can see that I basically got similar results and I've been testing this for quite some time now. So overall, I spent $8,643 with Bing Ads. And as you guys can see, I started this basically end of 2019, early 2020. But some of the results are heavily skewed in the early stages because conversion tracking was not working properly. But this top campaign right here, which was a campaign similar to the syndicated one that I have running right now, which is not getting good results, was actually also not performing that well. As you can see, the CPA was through the roof at $96 per sale. So because of all of these tests that I did via Bing ads, I was able to figure out exactly what is working and what is not working, which led me to this shopping campaign right here with an amazingly low CPA of $16.89. So now that we kind of covered all of this, let's look into exactly how to set up the Bing shopping campaign now. So there's actually several ways to set up a Bing shopping campaign. The first way is to directly import your shopping campaigns from Google ads. If you're wanting to know how to do that and save the time that I'm about to show you on creating a brand new campaign just go ahead and let me know in the comment section below but what we're going to do in this video for majority of the people is we're just going to create a brand new campaign from scratch so let's do just that once you land on your bing ads dashboard you want to go ahead and go to the campaign section on the left and click create campaign because this is where we get to create the campaign and as you can see some of the goals here are very similar to what you would see with google ads such as visits to my website, conversions in my website, phone calls, and so forth. What we want to do is we don't want to choose the conversions option. We want to choose sell products from your catalog because this is directly related to shopping campaigns. So as you see here, we have smart shopping and we have standard shopping. Obviously, we want to go with standard shopping because this is what we want to create with a brand new Bing Ads account with no data. So let's go ahead and create next. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and click search ads. Now, this is kind of confusing text right here, search ads versus audience ads with Bing search ads are also known as shopping ads so you don't want to click audience ads you want to choose search ads and go ahead and click next once you click next it is going to bring you to this page and this page now should look very familiar if you already are used to Google ads but on this page we're going to now start creating the actual campaign setting up all of the information and so forth so for the name I normally like to name it general testing campaign and then type in the exact text for what the bit is of this campaign so general testing campaign and the first campaign we're going to create and we'll be creating two in this tutorial but the first one is the high bid campaign so you can name it high bid or just name it high whatever you like just so you know that this is the high bid campaign go ahead and scroll down for budget you can here start at twenty dollars a day if you're on a low budget but normally as always i recommend 25 and above what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and now for the bidding strategies very similar to google ads so i'm not really going to go in depth into this but you have enhanced cpc where you let bing ads control your bids maximize clicks which is what we always go with for general testing campaigns even for google ads and target row ads if you want to set a percentage of return on ad spend you want this campaign to be achieving of course enhanced cpc and target roas are things that you would use further down the line for beginners or for people just starting off with bing you want to go ahead and choose maximize clicks and you want to check this box right here for the maximum cpc unlike google ads where we would start with 40 to 50 cents we want to lower it down a bit because with bing of course there's not as much competition not as much search volume even so we don't want to go too crazy i normally like to go anywhere between 32 cents all the way up to maybe even 41 cents or 42 cents nothing bigger than that and you can of course go somewhere in the middle i normally would recommend going about 35 cents 36 37 and so forth and again this bid i found out through testing a lot and spending a lot of money as you guys saw but it's entirely up to you as to what you do and then we scroll down we don't want to change anything right here we want to again leave this as it is and keep on scrolling down make sure display time it says 12 hour time zone your specific time zone ad distribution now this is extremely important as you saw with the syndicated campaign this was the third option right here which i had chosen and also the main shopping campaign where you saw i was getting 96 dollars cost per acquisition which is cost per purchase was this first option right here so this first and this third option is really not ideal for you to go with because i've noticed after spending so much money that those are just bringing trash quality traffic to your website and if you're interested in trying that out be my guest go ahead and choose one of these options but if you're fine with just your shopping campaign spending maybe seven dollars to nine dollars a day not too much but getting you quality traffic getting you over a 10x row as i was getting with my big shopping campaign you want to go ahead and choose this second option right here which is bing aol and yahoo search 
owned and operated only. I've noticed this is the highest quality traffic that you can get from Bing. I've never really had much success with this first option or this third option because the quality of traffic was just not good enough. I was getting my entire budget spent, but the ROAS was just not up to my liking. So after trying out the second option, I noticed this is the best way to go. And this is exactly what I recommend you do as well. For campaign priority, you have between three different options, very similar to Google. You want to keep the general testing campaigns at low because when you do start creating your scaling campaigns, you want to then choose medium or high so that Bing ads gives priority to those campaigns. It spends the budget for those campaigns and those products first before spending budget for that same product within this campaign. So once you do that, go ahead and scroll down, make sure your store ID and everything is correct. Products, all products keep on scrolling. Now for the default bid, you want to make it the same as it was earlier. This is just the second space where you can write a different bid, but we're going to do the same as it was before. And we're going to scroll down our location. Of course, we want to choose United States only unless you cater to other countries as well. So you would just type in the word United States, make sure that is chosen. And once you choose that, go ahead and scroll down because now we want to uncheck the second box because we only want people in our targeted location, meaning living in the US, seeing our ads. We don't want people searching for or viewing pages about the US. It's very similar to Google ads as well here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click done. We're going to scroll down now for device. It lets you adjust the bits per device. I normally don't like to touch this in the beginning because I'm not really sure which device is going to work the best. So once you do this, you want to go ahead and hit save. Once you hit save, it will take you to this next page right here, which is basically letting you know that your campaign has been fully set up. And if you scroll down, it should be now visible to you. And as you can see, it is this one right here, general testing campaign high bid. Now for this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and pause it because I don't need that running. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create the second campaign and this is for the small bit. Now for this campaign, everything is going to be set up exactly the same except for the bit. And I'll show you guys what I mean very shortly. So let's go ahead and go on to this next page where we enter all of the information regarding this campaign. So we're going to type in general testing campaign. This time it's not going to be named high bit. It's going to be named low bit. Go ahead and type that in and scroll down again. Budget, you can set it as you like, but for this low bid campaign, even if you set it at a hundred dollars a day or a thousand dollars a day, it's going to spend a very, very small portion maybe five dollars, four dollars, even less, or sometimes up to ten dollars simply because it's such a low bid. So that's up to you. But again, I recommend twenty five dollars a day or more. Scroll down to bid strategy. We want to choose maximize clicks again, and here. For the bid, we want to set it at 10 cents. This is a very similar strategy I do to Google Ads. So if you have watched my Google Ads videos, you already know about this. And if you haven't already, be sure to check them out because combining Bing and Google, it's going to be a powerhouse for you to generate consistent sales. But 10 cent bid, we just want to keep it at this low bid to catch all of those lost sales within our main general testing campaign. Scroll down and we want to set everything as normal. So make sure to choose the second circle right here. Keep on scrolling down, campaign party low. Make sure your store name, ID, everything is correct, all products. Again, change the default bid right here to 10 cents. Keep on scrolling down now and again, choose United States. And once you choose United States, you want to again be doing the same thing as you did before. Uncheck the second box, click done. And then once you hit save, your shopping campaign is now set up. And these are the two main general testing campaigns you want to have running with the Bing ads. Now, if your account is brand new, it's going to, of course, take one to three weeks for Bing ads to fully start optimizing, fully start spending some of your budget, if not all of it. But with the targeting options that we have chosen, it's definitely not going to be spending the entire budget unless, of course, you have set a very high bid of maybe 50 cents to even a dollar or more. So that is entirely up to you as to how you want to do it. I like to start at a low bid and then increase over time so I know what platform is getting me sales what bid is the ideal bid for me before just going in and spending all of my money but that is exactly how you set up your shopping campaigns with bing ads again if you want any type of one-on-one -on -one google ads mentoring or even bing ads mentoring do send me a message on instagram at dedicated young i do take on new students every single month but if you found any type of value in this video smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time